Hey guys, Paul Dovecchio here with a little quick tip on highlight recovery in Resolve for the Ursa Mini Pro and other Blackmagic cameras. So a lot of times people will come into Resolve and they'll say, oh, highlight recovery, I always want that, and they'll check it. The problem with that is it can actually cause a little bit of artifacting. So let's zoom in here and let's take a look. So here's a sunset and it's clearly blown out on the scopes. If I try to bring any of that detail back, there's really not much there. But that roll off isn't too bad. Now, ideally, I'd probably roll it off even more, maybe not that much, and that's a pretty nice roll off. Just as a side note, the Avery Alexa LUT does a pretty damn good job of rolling off highlights as well. And we do a before and after. You can see this is with no grade and this is with the Avery Alexa LUT. Now, of course, you are going to lose some detail in the surrounding areas because you're rolling off the highlights. Basically, that means you're pretty much going to lose a little bit of that surrounding detail. But you could always come back in and maybe pull down the highlights so they're not all the way up. But if we just do a before and after here, you can see that that roll off is a lot nicer. Well, if we enable highlight detail, all of a sudden, I don't know if you caught that, and it might be hard to see in the screen recording, but if I toggle this on and off, you can kind of see this fringe and this outline around it. And actually, if I just bring the highlights down here and I click the highlight recovery, you can see that there's still a bunch of detail up there that it's actually recovering, but what it's doing is it's rebuilding detail from some of the other channels, but it can cause this type of banding. Now, if I just zoom out, and I punch in, you can really see that banding in there. So it's not just when I zoom in. So if I did throw a grade on this, so you could still see that fringe, that outline around the highlights. But if I disable it, now you're losing some of that detail that was there, but you don't get that fringe. So other things you can do to remedy this, you can roll it off with a curve adjustment. You're going to have to really roll it off, though. So the top part really basically has to be flat. And then you can kind of come in, and it just depends on how much of that outline you want to see. Now, if you uncheck highlight recovery, I think you, I personally think you get a better roll off. And again, to reiterate, if I just apply my entire grade here, my starting point, you can kind of see here that the Alexa LUT does a really good job of rolling off the highlights. Now you will see a tiny bit of a fringe here if you enable highlight recovery, but if you disable it, it goes away. And that roll off is actually really nice and we don't see it in the final image. When is this actually useful then? I think it's useful for when you enable it and you don't have a clip at the top. So it works well within a certain threshold. So for instance here, and I disable highlight recovery, you can really see the difference here. And you can see here there's a flat peak here, but if I enable highlight recovery, it's no longer flat and it's no longer clipping. So in an instance like this, where the highlights don't clip hard after you enable highlight recovery, then I'd say it works well because it's actually recovering data. If you check highlight recovery and you still have a clip, you may get some of that fringing. And so you might be saying, okay, well, on the label, it's not really doing too much. It's not bringing back too much information, but maybe you're using it for a wall or some information outside of a window where there's not a hard point source in your footage. Even something like this. Let's zoom into the clouds here. Even something like the clouds. Now look at the scopes. You can see that there's a hard clip there. And this is without the highlight recovery enabled. So if we enable it and we see that there really aren't any hard clips, there's a little bit here. But if we enable it, let's do a before and after. You can really see some of that cloud detail come back, especially over here, if you watch that area. It comes back and there's no artifacting. So here in the window, you can see if I disable and enable it, you can see that this area over here is clipped. But if I enable it, it brings back all that wall detail. So basically, you just have to really be careful with highlight recovery and make sure that it's not causing any artifacting in your footage. This is Paul Dovecchio. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.